Hi everybody, welcome to part two. So here we are where we left um, <clears throat> last time. So the first thing I'd like to do is to <clears throat> add a clock module because I like we will use uh, uh, multiple sound uh, synthesizer modules. So we need to have a common clock. So and I like and um, that would be the, the preferred way for this tutorial. Let's click on the plus sign again on tags. Let's go right to the top. Let's select clock and let's select the clocked from module from imprompt and click add to patch. Next, we I like to drive from the clock from these um, <clears throat> output and because I need more uh, clock sources for later on. So I connect the clock there. I also would like to be able to reset the um, um this the module the info module and also to run this info module like that so this is how it's connected so let's play perfect so we have connected the first module next <clears throat> we are going to add the second um synth module so pl plus sign scroll down again to oscillator vco and let's again select the semi modular synth and let's click out patch here we are let's create the connectivity so let's drive the clock again or the same from the clock module the same from a reset and ram perspective as well perfect so um let's ensure that the vca level is down for both of them uh, like so let's click play and let's start the configure um let's click reset to ensure they're synchronized and now let's click let's create a sequence for this uh, sec uh, second synth module um <clears throat> this time i would like to create two sequences and then i'm going to connect them as a song so i'm going to use again the same pattern a flat major b flat major and c minor so for the first sequence, I'm going to start lower of an octave, first tap, and uh, with an A flat. Next, and C is fine. Next, um, E flat. Next, um, an A flat. Let's hear what it sounds like. Oops, I haven't connected the low pass filter, which I was still using in this case, output of the synth mode to the mixer. Perfect. <clears throat> Let's continue. Then um, a B flat, lower of an octave. Then next step D, next step F, next step B flat, next step C, E flat, G, C but up an octave. And then for the last four steps, we are going down. Starting from B flat, A flat. G and F. Let's hear. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> Next, here on the dial, under the sequence, we go to sequence number two, and as you can hear, it, it reverts back to default because I don't have a sequence. So let's create one. So the first step we leave it to a C. Second step we go down an octave, a flat. Next uh, E flat. Next a C. Next a D. Then next one a B flat. Lower an octave, next one an F, lower an octave. Let's listen so far. Okay, next D, next E flat, next C, next G, lower an octave. Let's listen. <clears throat> okay. 
E flat, D, B flat lower an octave, and then F lower an octave. Then the last one, a D. Let's listen. <clears throat> Perfect. Next, what I like to do is click on song mode. It will tell me that the first sequence is um, uh, sequence number one. Let's click on length mode button. We establish that is um, four um, uh, sequence in length, which is great. Let's go back on the first sequence. So the second uh, sequence is still the first one. The third one will be I scroll up the second and the fourth one the second again. So <clears throat> let's listen. Okay, next I like to change a little bit the sound. Let's use a square wave. Let's change the ADSR. <clears throat> not so much decay, not so much uh, probably release is okay. Not so much sustain. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's listen as it is now. I'm going to change a few more parameters as it sounds. Okay, I'll leave it like that and now let's listen with the bass as well. Okay, let's increase a little bit the BPM, perhaps to 150. Okay, 155. Okay, hope you like it and see you on part three. Bye.